Hey everybody, welcome to Letters Page. I'm Sal. I'm Ethan. I'm Ben. And I'm Tiffany. This is a show where we open up letters and packages from the audience out there. That's you. I bet someone who's watching the show right now owns one of these boxes. Oh. Or did. No, now I own it. Yeah, they're ours. <laughs> <laughs> so let's jump into them. Uh, the first one I want to jump into is actually a giant Quit box. Quit figuring the package. Yeah, please. This is a family show. Uh, we got a box here. Oh, she's uh, double figure it. It's really big and very heavy, and I opened it already. <laughs> I'm, mention, I'm mentioning that oh. because part of the show is the surprise. Right, so Sal's not going to be surprised. I will not be, but they have but not. Uh, the reason why I checked was because I wanted right. to make sure nothing was destroyed or mm. damaged in the box. Because, you know. Yeah, you don't want to like bring it out on the show. It's like all it's like, smashed. Hey, thanks for the clay oh. pots! So, instead, Apparently here they are. Apparently delivered this one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I also took the rupees inside. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Those are my tips. Yeah, so while we get this box, I'm going to cut to a deleted scene from one of our shows. <gasps> You know, at least it's a little bit more interesting than the watcher or someone being like, "Oh, and what's happening over here?" <laughs> I literally is that like just for fun or whatever? Yeah, it's just it, it, yeah, because it unprovoked. Watcher goes, "That's interesting, but what if the alien costume Spider-Man brought back to Earth possessed him forever?" Let's Wait, see nobody that asked you, man. Yeah, but who are you if? talking to? <laughs> yeah, Look, who are you talking to? Why? I have to watch all of reality. Most of it's boring. <laughs> this might be interesting. He does have to watch everything in his quadrant of the universe. So, right. like, yeah. It, well, that's why he focused so much on Earth because it's like Earth. Oh, look, the Iraqis and the Americans are getting into it real big tiff. <laughs> also, what if Spider-Man's alien costume possessed him forever? Oh, what if the Avengers had to fight Galactus instead of the Fantastic Four? How'd that turn out? Like. It's so boring on Earth, you have to watch alternate versions of what's actually happening. Damn yeah. it. Damn it, Iwatu. <laughs> you can Don't worry. Into literally millions of stories, <laughs> yes. and uh, it's not enough. No. It's not enough to slate his, like, unslatable <laughs> thirst. Yeah. And I'll only watch, I'll never interfere. Oh, wait, let me inf yeah. interfere. Yeah. Linda, don't, do. he's cheating on you. <laughs> that and Galactus, those <laughs> are the two. Yeah. I got really invested in Linda's life. <laughs> you deserve better, okay? It's all okay. I'm saying. I just, I've, I've watched you from birth. I've watched your grandparents grow up. I've watched a billion individuals. No, eight billion individuals. <laughs> and uh, you are the first one who I've decided <laughs> to intercede. You, you gotta stop. You gotta stop. You just, it's so self-destructive. You just keep doing the same thing over and over again. And, and I've let people like die horribly many times. Universes. Oh, yes. and, and I have to stop this. Yeah. <laughs> All I'm saying just... is you have a degree, why aren't you using it? <laughs> You know why? Because you're afraid to, Linda. That's why. <laughs> Ta-da! Here it is. Let's jump into it. There's also a letter. It says, oh. read me. Read me. Oh. It's like, it's like, uh, Wait, that's our address. Yeah. 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 That's read fine. me. Hmm. Drink me. Or it says, read me. me a lot. <laughs> Eat me. Hello, Comic Pop crew. This is my first time writing for one of these, so please bear with me. Fair enough, I will. Uh, I've watched your show religiously since I stumbled across the Clone Saga episode of Back Issues in 2018. Just like a lifetime ago in YouTube terms. <laughs> uh, at this point, I believe it is safe to say I've watched just about every video you've re released. You constantly introduced me to new ideas, concepts, and comics, and quite literally revived my love of comic books as a whole. Aww. Nice. After a teenagehood spent pretending I had better things to do, I finally picked up comic reading back up, and I've never looked back. In fact, I've already begun setting up a pull list at my comic shop closest to my university so I can pick up right where I left off back home. I'm going to study history of Scotland for the next four years, Ooh. so use that to eventually emigrate to the UK. Uh, seeing as I'm likely never to come back to the States, I have decided to relinquish large swaths of my comic collection. Frankly, I can't imagine how expensive it's going to be to ship boxes like that across the Atlantic. <laughs> While most of it's going to be split between friends, my high school's library, and good old eBay, I noticed that my collection contained some pieces of yours didn't. Plus, huh. that means you can also buy things over in Scotland that you never had before. That, that's true. But it can be hard, so digital might become your best friend. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I've gone through my collection and found every piece of mine that was not in your online library Whoa. collection thingamajig, which is, by the way, in the description of every video we make, and especially letters page, there's a, li there's a link to our library that I constantly update. And in fact, uh, the reading of this letter is already updated with the contents of this box. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, it's Libib or whatever. It, granted, it isn't a lot, seeing as the books I've ever purchased were due to your recommendations. <laughs> I just wanted to take a moment to thank you all for the joy and entertainment you give me over the years. There was no hyperbole when I said that you taught me to appreciate comics again, and I could never thank your team enough. Who knows? Maybe a book or two here will make it into a future episode. Maybe. Team, that's us. We're the team. Yeah, you're, you're, the, you're team. the team. Yeah, yeah. sweet. We're the team. Da, no. Da, 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 da. So many more years of comic have to come. Thank you, Mark. P.S. Sorry about the dust covers on two of the books. As a little kid, I thought they were stupid. I'd throw them away before I left the store. <laughs> As you can imagine, I regret that decision wholeheartedly. Mm. That's okay. 
Don't worry about it. Yeah, I used yeah, to do that too, happens. and I was also a dummy. This comes with a dust that. jacket. <laughs> <laughs> and if you're interested in dust... It's like a windbreaker. Like, no one needs those. Here's the official movie magazine for Iron Man 3. That goes right to Ethan. <laughs> Because I like movies. You like Iron Man 3? I do like Iron Man 3. See, I do, though, like the idea of, like, comics and hardcover looking a little bit more like a Like old, a book? Like a, like a library, like a library tome kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, like Neverending Story. Like, here you go. Here's Read that. Invisible Iron Man. This is a... Uh, it's also neat because it's like you don't know the adventure you're about to have by yeah. looking at that cover. This is a pop-up of Giant Size X-Men number one. <laughs> this is really intricate, really cool. That's awesome. Oh, it's also like a crazy shape. Yeah. Oh my god, yeah. Yeah. It's like a torso. (gasps) Yay! I opened up to Storm! Nice. Woo! One of my favorite X Men. They can't see that. They can't. I'm showing it to you. I'm a bad librarian reader, okay? (laughs) What are you talking about, kids? I'm enjoying the book. Got some more Iron Man's. Iron Man Season 1. Amazing Spider Man with with the Fantastic Four in it. Oh, he's got that white suit. Uh, a big spoiler for Ultimate Spider-Man. Uh, oh no! The rest of the spoiler for Ultimate Spider-Man. Uh, ooh, Excelsior, The Amazing Life of Stan Lee by Stan Lee and George Mayer. I had a pretty excellent life. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Spider-Man Masterworks, which is cool. Uh, Miles Morales' is, uh, oh, first webs. volume. Yeah, look, you got the armpit webs there. Yeah. More Iron Man's War Machine. Oh. Cool. I get the feeling you're an Iron Man fan. Yeah. Here's more. Well, uh, it's the stuff that you don't have. That's Ooh, true. We don't so have a lot of Iron like Man. you're not an Iron Man yeah. <laughs> But here's something else we don't have. Oh, wait. Hang on. There's more. Yeah, Invisible Iron Man. The Avengers. Mar- that's the first appearance of the Avengers, essentially. Oh, wow. I mean, it's, a, it's not the original. You know. it's not hey, we could be impressed. <laughs> I know. It's just... I, it's the no, story. It's, yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> All right. Here is Punisher Max Omnibus Volume Two. Damn. Wow. Followed closely by Punisher Max Omnibus Volume it's One. It's Punisher and it's Whoa. Shark Week. Yeah. It's... For Punisher. <laughs> yeah. He shoots sharks out of his gun. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. While you're reading it, there's shark facts. Original Iron Man or original Avengers was Iron Man in like the Mark One like. Yeah, it is crappy suit. It is terrible. It was. It was. That was his only suit. That's yeah. Gross. Well, it started out with gray, and then it. He, he made it gold, but it looked exactly the he same. He switched in this story. Okay. Yeah. And uh, Hands of the Mandarin, War Machine, and Iron Man. Ooh. Really... We're turning War Machine and Iron Man against each other. <gasps> that only happens, like, all the time. I How really devious. I like this pop-up. Yeah, right? It's this is really clever. And fun. This is cool. dope. Look, look at this. I don't know who they're talking to, but is that the Mandarin? Is he just a skull with a Fu Manchu mustache? Uh... <laughs> yeah, I mean, like that's Force Works. I don't know who they're fighting. Yeah. It could be anybody, really. Force Works. Look at, look at this like team up image of them, where it's like these kind of classic X Men and the Phoenix. Yeah, and me. I'm here too. Well, because after she it's became Phoenix for a little Phoenix. while, she was just Fe- like she was just Jean Grey with yeah. more power. Well, no one wants uh, to just Jean Grey anymore. I'm sorry. I agree. I also like the Banshee page because of what the, this other guy is saying. God in heaven, my ears, my mind. <laughs> yeah, it's not Holy just God. the sound. It's, yeah, it's it will make you insane. Is, yeah. Well, that's also what he's saying, I'm Great. sure. You feel your brain <laughs> yeah, like getting damaged. Holy crap! I, <laughs> this is a Nick. fun book, I think, for just adults, but I also agree. like yeah. if you want to introduce your kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah. something they can kind of grow up with. Agreed. Yeah. There's a really cool section back here about Cerebro because, like, look at this like very intricate little pop up they oh, made. Oh, the... that is intricate. Yeah. <laughs> Like, Neat. Yeah. Thanks, man. And uh, bon voyage. Good yeah. luck. We look forward to hearing from you again when you've made your uh, your move. Go, and good luck go, over in Scotland. Go pet the cows. Yeah. I hear they're hairy. The fuzzy cows. Yeah, they're fuzzy. They're fun. I like those cows. They're my favorite cows. They're great. Yeah. They're awesome. You, those are your favorite cow? Yeah. Oh. What about the beefalo? That's not a cow. That's an abomination. <laughs> it's still adorable. <laughs> it's the beefalo. <laughs> I'm huge. I have a mistake. There's Schultz a... had a dream, and he's like, that would make a great comic book, and I'm going to write it down verbatim to what my dream was, Right. even if it's dumb and makes no sense at times. Yeah. Well, I wanted to tell a story about a different kind of 
predator. I want to be able to do my own thing. Yeah, yeah. And not be constrained by, so how could I do that? But without screwing up, okay, well, they're, they're really old. They're separated. Yeah. For, th for thousands of years. Right. Oh, well, how did they stay separated for thousands of years and not, like, infect the whole planet? Well, well, they're sensitive to cold. So uh -huh. they're trapped in a cold place. Oh, but then they would die. Oh, but there's a volcano. Like, <laughs> it's just like, I just gotta keep inventing shit yeah. to like make this premise yeah. that I arbitrarily decided to do. He just work. keeps writing himself into corners yeah. for no reason. <laughs> and then just like breaks down a wall and like, oh, yeah. here, oh, another corner, damn yeah. it. It's just yeah. like lying about your identity at a dinner party with people you know. <laughs> <laughs> like, so they, okay, so then, uh, so then, what's the conflict? What are they trying to? What are they, oh, oh, the, there's oh, a, there, no, the, the government. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, 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 the volcano's gonna go. It's gonna explode right now. Yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna go off. Oh, okay. Oh, that doesn't sound too bad. It look, sounds like that would solve our problem with the predator and the aliens. Yeah. No, well, you 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 would think that, but but what if uh, uh, we have to save them from? Uh, dying. Why would they do that? Uh, because Superman! Oh. Superman uh, uh, has reverence for living uh, living creatures. Alright, yeah. that I buy. Okay, the Predators, yeah. Them. But yeah, what about yeah. the Xenomorphs, though? He's gotta kill them. No, he likes them, too. Yeah, they're aliens. Yeah. But don't worry, yeah. we'll, we'll have some devil whisper in his ear. I know, Batman! Oh, hey, Yeah, Batman. but he'll convince him through, uh, you know, rational discourse that oh. it's better to save them. Oh, Batman, Superman, they're good friends. They'll get along on this. Yeah. Oh, no, they barely know each other. <laughs> well, at least that's how I'm gonna treat them. <laughs> yeah. So they, so by the way. Yeah, but, but, but then, yeah. then the, the government, you, oh, know, yeah. you think that, oh, oh so they're just gonna fly away and they'll be fine. No, 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 because the government is trying to stop them. Oh, the government knows Superman. They wouldn't do that. Well, it's like a rogue faction. Oh. It's like a, it's like a militaristic secret organization. Oh, well, you thinking like Star Labs or Cadmus or something like that? Well, I, I, well we don't want to use those. No, no, this is separate. <laughs> well, this I don't read DC, so I have no idea who those characters are. No, so let's make up one for myself. What the hell is TDI? It's a... Uh, it's, it's TDI. It's a terrestrial defense initiative. initiative. Yeah. And, and, and they're, they're trying to stop them. You know, Superman wants to save them, but they want to kill them. So. How do they even know they were there? Oh, they, uh, they, they've been watching them for years. Sherpas? Oh. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, the scientists. They said they're studying the volcano. Oh. Yeah. So they got the wind of it. Okay. Yeah. All right, yeah, all right. Yeah. So then they're going to nuke... They're gonna nuke the volcano. Oh. Put an end to the threat. Okay. Yeah. But don't we already have the ticking clock of the volcano going to be erupted? Well, yeah, but, but there's another one on top of that. But then <laughs> Superman's like, gonna, gonna, gonna save them before it erupts, so yeah. they're just like, we have to kill them somehow. Yeah, yeah. he's gonna he's gonna rescue them, we gotta kill him oh. first. Okay. Or we're not sure if his plan will work, maybe. How, how do they, how is he gonna get them out of there? Oh, uh, he's gonna, Fix the alien ship, the Predator's ship. Yeah, what if they're missing it, any piece of technology? What's he gonna do? I mean, he's just Superman, he's just gonna be there. Is yeah, he gonna fly back and forth to the, to the fortress? No, no, he'll bring it. He'll bring it to him. Yeah, he'll no, the he'll bring the Fortress of Solitude. <laughs> See, yeah. like that's how this whole thing came together. It's just, it's so. But the Fortress of Solitude doesn't move. Yeah, but it's a what if it place. Does. But what if it was no, in but a it, thing? It, but it does. This is the, this is the dark horse. Uh, Superman ba and Batman versus Alien and Predator universe. <laughs> we can do whatever we want. We can do anything. Yeah, we could we could use the familiar and reference the established, but also yeah. make up the convenient. Right, there is a Fortress of Solitude, but it's not the one that you're thinking of. It's a, it's I don't. Fancy but won't that just seem one. kind of made up if it's like if if you're? Well, it's made. It's all made up. It's fiction. Yeah, but here's what I don't get. You know, there's not really a Fortress that. of Solitude made of crystals in the Antarctic, right? Is you don't need to tell me, I'm the editor at DC. <laughs> like, oh my god, okay. I'm sensing some defensiveness there. I, all right, I, I'm, all right, fair enough. Don't let me get in the way of your vision. <laughs> oh, of course not. No, no, no. This one's from Quantastic. Ah. From Soledad, California. Olay. Don't have a gender reveal out there. Yeah, uh, well. I think they've had all they can handle. Have a gender reveal just don't when the have baby's a born. Reveal at all. Yeah. Hey, Anywhere. it's a girl. It's a girl. In the oh, hospital. Cool. Thank you. Here's a text. Have you seen yeah. those pictures though? I mean, like we've like, seen like many pictures, but like a lot of them lately, like just like being like, yeah, this looks is like, hell. Yeah, it's Blade Runner yeah. 2049. <laughs> yeah, there's also one of um, there's a guy who was like, I've lived on the street for like 25 years, and I get to take this picture finally, and like it's their street sign, which is like Mars, I guess, and it says like mm. End Mars, and it's got like this huge red. Yeah. It's the Superior Milky Way. Yay! Yay! 
We got some Milky Way Midnights. The we got the fun size and the mini. Oh, which we cool. actually I like that variety. What's more yeah. fun? Sometimes you don't mini. want the full fun size. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes you want the mini. But sometimes you like, do want. Sometimes you do like, want. Yeah. Like right now, I do. I do. Want a two bite. <laughs> Damn it. Oh. Damn it! Damn it! All right. All right, these are ready to open. Uh, so Yay! I'm, I'm not going to open this because we haven't opened one already. That's right, yeah. You want to go? I'm going to go get Yeah, go get one. Right off the bat, I see uh, James Tyne the fourth. some of his run on Constantine Tyne, the Hellblazer. Nice. No, no, it's Constantine. We're not, we're not following that. There yeah. you go. These covers are fantastic. Yeah. I've actually never read any of his. No. But the covers are lovely. Um, ooh. These are a lot of things right up my alley. Um, this is the Spectre by Ostrander. Nice. Which is excellent. Freak. Yeah. We got Vigilante and Vigilante. Nice. Okay, what's wrong? We don't have enough. Two oh, number hey. one. What's happening in here? Yeah, man, it's getting eaten by a spider. Yeah. And the Spectre's the spider. Yeah. Yeah. It also kind of looks like a Doom spider. Which yeah, sometimes now the Spectre's the spider. I feel like they should have a, he should have a Doom spider. I oh, agree. Lord. Um, we got some Batgirl. Oh, nice. man, it's Livewire! Hey, I like nice. Livewire. Livewire, I was introduced to thanks to the Superman animated series, who was voiced by, uh... Lori Petty. Petty. Yeah, I was like... Tank girl. I never, I didn't know her from that. No. And, and uh, Tyler from Point Break. Yes! <laughs> Which, uh, Ben was telling me uh, he just watched again Holy recently. Holy crap. That was Batgirl. Nice. The covers yeah. also are The excellent. covers are so good. Mm-hmm. Oh, is that a spoiler? Yes, oh, it, is. it is. Look at the Street Fight text. <laughs> and then I mimic Street Fighter. Nice. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Oh, man. Okay. That's fun. Okay. Batgirl. Batgirl. I remember seeing this cover, like, all over the place. That's a... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I remember yeah. that. Yeah. Yes, the bathroom selfie. That's a version of it. There's one where she's by herself, and then there's this one. Yes. More Batgirl. 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 Uh, I think that character's going places. I think she'll probably do work out. We got some rooftops Batman Rebirth here. It's Tom King. Oh, great. All right, well, if you don't like that, then there's Batman <laughs> Journey into Night mm. by Andrew Hel Helfer. Sounds good to me. Batman Eternal. Oh, no. Yeah. We got a, bat a bunch of Batman Eternal here. Yeah, great. New 52, Snyder. Yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, Tynan and everybody. Yeah. <laughs> well, how about some checkmate? <laughs> nice. Oh we God. do not have any what, checkmates. What happens when the counter gets to zero? <gasps> checkmate. <laughs> 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 we have an issue of Animal Man by Jeff Lemire. Nice. Uh, Superman by Jeff Johns. Oh, checkmate is dressed like a knight. Yeah. I, guess I assume it's Jeff Johns. I just saw Johns. I think it is. It is. Uh, Suicide Squad. DC Universe special, yes, first issue, Superman. Yeah, that's What do cool. you think about it? Respond Featuring Mongol from the pages of the Green Lantern Corps. What? Like, I don't know? <laughs> no, you don't know. He's in Green Lantern, you know. Oh. Yeah. This is the explosive 100th issue of Teen Titans. Oh, cool. The Flash 80-page giant. Oh. Nice, those are always fun. The all-new Atom. Up and Atom. Oh, okay, nothing. It's nah. up and at them. Up and the, at them. The Brave and the Bold, Batman and Blue Beetle. Ooh. Um, the Omega Men join forces with the new Teen Titans. Mm. Oh, that's cool. It's actually kind of a good GBU book, possibly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Team up yeah. there. Um, Stormwatch. All right. Who's Stormwatch? And some uh, additional uh, Stormwatch. Stormwatch was a... Villain. It was a war... It was a wild storm book. And uh, then, oh, I'm, I'm the creeper. I'm, I'm, I stalk storm. <laughs> Binoculars. <laughs> I was like, what the hell what are you, are you talking I was, about? I man? unfortunately knew exactly what Ben was talking that's, about. I'm like, oh no. Good. I speak Ben. <laughs> <laughs> I speak ben. ben. He's a creep. Thank you, Wantastic. <laughs> These are great. Thank yeah. you so much, and thanks for the treats. Yeah. Right? Trouble, three, two, one. This is a book I said I'd never do. Here we Trouble. are. Yep. What? What the mm. fuck? I've never heard of this book. No. No, you haven't. By Test Mark Test Millar and Terry Dobson. Scoop. <laughs> Scoop. That's... Hello. Hello there. Hello there. <laughs> General Kenobi. That's... How are you doing over there? I've been oh, I should be good. Your... Yeah, looks good. Jedi Arts. Uh, Jedi Arts. By Count Dooku. <sighs> Why does anyone think he's cool? <laughs> I think, General Kenobi. I think people only like him ironically. <laughs> like guy. I do. <laughs> I love those two. Yeah, that... 
I see so many fucking like memes like, yeah, like that point out how silly those movies are that I feel like everyone just likes them ironically. Right. They at this point. They have to. So like when he, his fucking arms come out and then like 30 other <laughs> arms come out. Yeah. <laughs> so funny. Like why wouldn't you just have all your arms come out at once? I like the, yeah, the, 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 the CG kids who are like, <laughs> yeah, why don't you have Again, 100 arms? That's the joke. You have like, four arms? Why don't you have 17 stupid. arms? Why, why not 25 arms? If it doesn't matter, it's not like there's money in this universe. <laughs> hey, can I just be made of lightsabers? <laughs> Why aren't you just a lightsaber? Why doesn't your head become a lightsaber? Like, why don't your eyes become lightsabers? You know, it's, it's fucking stupid. You know, there's gonna be one day. Well, then I couldn't see. <laughs> no, you see through the lasers. I, one day they're gonna do a thing where they're like, we're gonna reveal what species. Oh my Grievous God. was. I'm sure they already have, Who right? Who the fuck cares? People care. Lots of people, people care. Yeah. People care. People care about Darth Maul. Yeah. Right. Darth Maul has appeared in more Darth Maul things. Is coming back. Darth Maul has appeared in more shows and movies than General Grievous. Darth Maul was actually a species when we saw him. Why can't we let just let General Grievous be what he is? He was a species. No, but he was a species, and then he like got horribly disfigured, and then he became General Grievous. You know, yeah. he's like a Darth Vader analog. Yeah, but I don't care. Right, but yeah, everyone but else like does. Everyone does, yeah. See, I get to know whatever other species is. Yeah, how come I, I got don't this know? rich backstory for Darth Maul's fucking species, but I know nothing about General Grievous' I, species? I got, Tell me. I know who Darth Maul's brother is. <laughs> I cannot stand the fact that he's alive. He well, he's not anymore, and Ray Park's career is not anymore either. All right, who's up next? Oh, I'm going. Eh. Oh, I'm going. No, I'm taking it now. No, Ben, no. <laughs> it's already happening. So we have got Flash Terminal Velocity. Cool. By cool. Mark Wade. That's a great run. Oh, X Men Fatal Attraction. <laughs> oh. oh no. That's awesome. That's like, you have some of these, but not. Mm hmm. All right. This is a gift from Niall. Niall says, Enjoy these books as I have enjoyed them. I will. Love the show and continued success. Thank you. Okay. Niles? Thank you, Niles? Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Damn it, Niles! Well, well Niall. Oh, mm -hmm. Niall. Thank you, Niall. This is the one where Wolverine gets his adamantium skeleton ripped out of his body. Mm. Boom. Yeah. That is a very fatal attraction. Yes. Yeah. yeah, I don't think it has anything to do with it. I really <laughs> love this cover because it really Represents. solidifies for me like the time of X-Men I, I knew only because of a cartoon. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Where they charge at you on the screen. Yep. You know that's John Romita Jr.? Oh, yeah, you can tell. C can, you, can you tell? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, it's funny. You actually, if it wasn't for Bishop, you may not be able to key in on it right mm -hmm. away. No. Well, modern colors on it, too. Yeah, but, like, without seeing that, like, nose and facial structure... No. It's like, it's oh. It's not... It's not certain, but Bishop really gives it up. But, like, for me, it's not even just the running. It's the costumes and the fact that Bishop's here. Yeah. yeah I'm like, yeah. Bishop mm -hmm. was huge in the show. Oh, yeah. I'm always coming back. Well, yeah. I mean, wow, like, wow. Yeah. I loved hearing that sound. I know. You're like, oh, it's a Bishop episode. <laughs> um, yeah. Thanks, man. Delete scene. Okay. <laughs> Peter's idea of beauty comes from yeah. like, the, the strongest female influences in his life. Except Peter wouldn't remember his mother, so it's like a subconscious thing. Like, Peter, oh, yeah. Richard and Mary died before Peter could even remember what they look like. Right. But he has photos and stuff, I guess. Yeah. Anyway. It's it's very weird. Here are the photos we took at the resort where we were all together. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. See, he sees that and he just freaks out. His mind breaks. Well, only if he finds out what the story is behind that. Yeah. You, you're, you're talking about the reader. Like, the reader sees that. <laughs> no! That's what Spencer should do in this Amazing oh, Spider-Man run. Yeah. Put that photo in there. Yeah. Of them, like, having a great time. I was always a huge fan of trouble. I'm going to work that in. Yeah, let me, let, me, let me secure that. Yeah. Its legacy is assured. There you go. Trouble. <laughs> yeah. I actually, based on like it where, where deal with it. Do, based on where Dan Slott took Spider Man, like I'm shocked he didn't put trouble in here mm. just to be like, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> I remember. You don't like me? Well, I don't like you either. <laughs> that was a good one. Yes, that I also enjoyed it. Deleted scene. It certainly wasn't occurred. an arbitrary thing I just inserted into the no, episode that, that has nothing to do with specific. Whimsical. And Thank you. Yeah. I, so what do we got here? We got. Uh, this is from Lehigh Valley Comics, so Ooh, don't shot. necessarily know who it's from. Yeah. Right. You can always tell, like, when someone has, like, purchased something. I didn't see you actually cut it. No, so I, had I, already I, cut I thought, it. but I didn't see you do it, so I'm mm. like, you might want to, okay. He's like that guy <laughs> in, uh... <laughs> 
I did open upside down. Oh god. Um shit. Yeah? In shit? We're all yeah. waiting with bated breath. Something men, mystery men. Ah. Who can cut guns with his mind? He can cut boxes open with his mind. Yep. Yeah. What that are you gonna call him? The Sphinx. <laughs> it's a pretty useless power. That doesn't that doesn't work. That's why uh, it doesn't work in the no movie. Notes. Wait. The Sphinx. No, there's no note. Okay, this is X-Men Proteus. Oh no. Sent to what do you mean by no? somebody. Yeah, thanks. You know who you are. Yeah. Probably. <laughs> What is X-Men Proteus? Proteus is Moira McTaggart's son. Oh, oh yeah, great. I love Moira McTaggart. <laughs> hey, she is great. She's super important. Well, you should like is. Moira. Ow. Ow. <laughs> hey, this is also from Niall. Yay! Oh, oh thanks, Niall. Oh, by your name. name, Niall. Nice. Thanks, Niall, again. Right? True reading. What? That's a good trick. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if you caught the angle, but I, I got a good glimpse of the sass that was going on. It was amazing. And you know what's more amazing is you out there who helped us make this episode possible. We're very lucky to have you. Thank you all so much for your incredible generosity. Comics especially today. Big pile of comics. And, it, you know, this is a true-to-form episode. We got comics and we got Milky Way Darks or Midnights. Is there a difference between Midnights and Darks? Nope. Midnight no dark. is a, it's just a fun name for Dark. For Milky Way Dark, okay. Yeah. Well, because it's not just dark chocolate. They also change out the nougat Why are you with the vanilla nougat. Oh. So, it's a sampling. I guess that's oh, like the stars mm -hmm. or the moon. So oh, right, because the midnight. It's midnight. Yeah. It's not yeah. just... They it's midnight somewhere. Nougat. Nougat. <laughs> no, they shouldn't. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh. This is his new way of ending his conversation with someone. Just, just, Slam. No, they shouldn't. No, they shouldn't. Pop. <laughs> I got nothing. No, nope. that's your Mandalorian. I spoke. That's a bad idea. Yeah. Well, that's the that's pop a, for comic that book. That's, that's it. Not yeah, a good thing I have pop. Said. This is the way. This is the way. Thanks a lot for watching, everybody, and thank you all so much for your generosity. We are so indebted to you. And we're, we, I promise these will be in the library and be used with distinction, and we will remember that you sent them to us when I look through them and then cover them on back issues. I was going to say, you might see a back issues on one of Oh, you will Maybe. see at least a few of these, mm -hmm. uh, if not all of them. Hopefully, one day, you know. If we go YouTube, long enough. If we go long enough, they'll all get there. There's a lot of books in those shelves that are not done. So, you know. They gotta stop making new ones, though, because otherwise we'll never catch uh, up. That's true. And those new ones have to be less popular than the ones we already have in the show. <laughs> but <laughs> otherwise, way. we'll see you guys next week with an all new episode. Well, not next week, but another time. I don't know when, you know. It's, yeah. it's when we get like, we more get than a couple. To, to justify exactly. It. But if you want to send one yourself, you can always do so at the uh, at your own peril. Use the <laughs> P.O. Box address. 1157 Denville, New Jersey 07834. It's in the description below this video. Everything you need to know about Comic Pop is in the description below this video. Address, uh, emails, libraries, uh, all the social medias for everyone here on this panel you can find down there too. And uh, a lot more goodies down there as well. Of course, you can see us on patreon.com slash if you want to support us even more. And otherwise, you can always just help us out by subscribing to the channel, giving this video a like, and we'll see you guys next week. I'm Sal. I'm Ethan. I'm Ben. Nativity. So long. And we're going to fade on on Tiffany Dancing. Oh, oh look, it's Avengers versus X-Men. Oh, that's... Oh. Great. <laughs> so Azrael's oh, like, okay. I'm Batman, and I. What the fuck was that?